today I want to show you what I'm packing for my ski trip to Verbier in Switzerland. I'm going uh, a few days uh, with my girlfriend and uh, some friends. The Bottega tire boots. I'm not sure if, if I'm gonna wear these actually that much because I have these uh, with me. But still like, I wanna bring them. And I'm gonna bring vintage tea this and then white vintage tea as well when you go skiing you are most of the time in your like ski clothes uh, it's only like when you go out for dinner and like maybe like some après skiing but usually I I'm not, I'm not bringing that much clothes but still it's nice to have some some things to pair uh, a few outfits. So these I'm gonna wear probably, and then obviously a leather pair. Um, I'm feel a little bit better afterwards. This one I'm gonna bring here. So this is like a vintage. Um, a vintage uh, jacket from a Revlon Polo. Uh, this is, I think this one is from like the 80s or something like that. Uh, it's like a like a denim, heavy washed, has a little bit like a yellow ring effect to it. Just nice with the pockets here and and like the, the flannel lining. I think it's really cool and and like the, uh, you know, like the corduroy, sand, cream kind of thing. Uh, color this maybe of course mandatory the old files rapid fur lined uh, military parka so this one I'm gonna probably wear for like for the flight I'm probably gonna wear it like when I go out you know so you put it here Oh yeah, so I almost forgot to put this in here. So this is my toilet bag, very nice size, the Prada one. Um, this is for like shampoo, uh, tooth, uh, brush, um, sunscreen, etc, etc. So sunscreen for your face and neck and hands. And this is for your lips, so, sunglasses. Salt ones, I love these, um, just fits my face very good. Ski goggles, Oakley's, I love these. Uh, this is uh, an essential. Ski mask, get your ski mask on, you know. Then I have helmet, mandatory as well. Uh, I would probably put this in another bag because it's because of the, the, the size of it, it's pretty big. So I'm gonna bring this with my. Uh, Ski boots as uh, hand luggage. You know, if you know, if you are like a skier and you love skiing and like racing in particular, my ski jacket. So I got this flannel looking ski jacket from SOS. Uh, very like functional. So here is my ski pants. I love these. I think the fit on these are really great. Um, just a little bit flare actually, so and baggy. So this is like a gray kind of wool uh, fabric kind of thing here. You've got the back pockets with zip, very functional. Um, you've got the front pockets with zip as well here, and then you've got like an air system here, so it's very warm. You can open these and you will get some air into your leg. I've also been wearing these a lot uh, for skiing, so... But I think it's so loud. It's uh, for a few seasons back. Cup the AirPod Max. I heard the... Uh, Sound should be amazing. These, so have to try them. Can't wait to try these for the flight and just like in general. Got a very good price as well. Got 
going to Switzerland for skiing. So uh, going to visit some friends and uh, that live there in uh, Vapier. So um, let's go. It's like 6 a.m. right now. What you gonna get? The ham and cheese sandwich. It's so good. So this is the apartment for uh, the beer. Skiing apartment. Kitchen here, small kitchen. And we have like the living room here. Super cozy, I think. Super nice here, also during the night. Then we have like a small cabin kind of thing right, right here with different books and stuff. And here, like the, the dinner table and for breakfast as well. And then master. Bedroom. Look at the view, man. Amazing. I feel like the view is is actually like unreal. And you can open this up like this. You know? It's good fresh air in. Super nice. And here you can have all your stuff. And also here, like a small like terrace kind of thing. It's actually kind of hot to it. And finally, we got a small, um, like a small uh, bedroom. Where is it? Like this. It's a bit small, but I'm just as close as that. So here in Vipiet they have these Prada, uh, what do you call them? Like lift holders, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And we're here with Freddy and Pelagin. Oh. <laughs> so my friends from Switzerland lives here. Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> hey. A vibe, right? Good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> so first day at ski here in Switzerland. Bebier. What do you think so far? Perfect. Perfect condition. So you watched it like two weeks ago? Two weeks. We went here over New Year. A newly engaged days. couple uh, proposing here. <laughs> congratulations, in, uh, congratulations. In the Swiss Alps. So back then it was like now it's like much better conditions, yeah. right? More snow. More snow. Yeah. Same amount of snow, but uh, no, say, same amount of uh, of sun, <laughs> but uh, snow-wise, much better. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm here at the transport slope. The beer. So nice here. I would really, really recommend if you want to go uh, skiing in Switzerland to go here in uh, Vepia. Uh, very nice conditions. Uh, I got really lucky because it's not always like this of course, but um, just the slopes and the terrain is like really nice. So fully recommended this place guys. Cheers. And sorry for all the uh, the white lips it's because of the, the very strong sun here. So you have to have like a strong sun cream on, uh, on your face and uh, your lips, otherwise you, you're gonna burn. Woo! This is good, huh? Yeah, pretty good. Not complaining. So we at this restaurant called what? La Rouge. Uh, La Rouge in the uh, the Quatre Valley in Verbier. So, so sitting here getting a lunch, waiting for the 
girls and then <laughs> so what's your favorite uh, ski resort it's difficult right i mean i really like the slopes and the um, you know the chalets around here in verbier in uh -huh. switzerland but i mean if you take for example france mm -hmm. also has a different vibe yeah yeah, yeah. especially the apreski uh, it's a bit more and, uh, chill here right yeah it's more uh, i would say low-key yeah. here and but then you also have you know maybe uh, in austria right yeah, yeah. where you more like wild partying and for really sure. drinking sure. hard. So, uh, for sure. It depends on what your mood is in. Ah, uh, the channel. First time on skis. How was it? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Small burrata for the for the lunch. So what are you having? I'm having my my morning ritual, the daily ritreto. Best. Ritreto way? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so this guy, I, I don't know anybody else that drink that much coffee than this guy. He's drinking coffee all the time. If I don't, I'll get a headache. <laughs> so how much I coffee you drink a day? Huh? How much coffee you drink a day? On the tough days, easily six, seven cups. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> Shout out to the Swiss fam. Shout out to the Swiss fam with the Rivera. Drink the best thing in the snow, you know. A, a male version of the Aperol Spritz. It's like, it's way more bitter. Cheers, bro. Uh, it's like, feels stronger, which I like a lot. How is it? Second day on ski ever? Very nice today. <laughs> you always say very nice. No, yesterday that, that's I your, said it was like, terrible. Said terrible. But Good I job. think it's great today. Good job. I like it a lot. It's like 18 months dried, cured ham. It's one of the best Italian Parma ham you can ever get. 18 months. Merci, Michel. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the special specialties here at the dark. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 There's a lot of cheese, huh? Do you speak for yourself, right? How far are we up? We are up like, was it 3,200? Or 300? 3,300? Three, 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 three Pretty high altitude. So that's the highest point here in the uh, up here. So you can see the view. Allez, les petits pédés! You try to make the cut. So it's like raw, and then you can uh, put it on the heat stone here. Can you try it. I need a little bit more. Last day in the beer here, so just been enjoying those four days of skiing. H haven't been skiing two years because of the COVID, so it's amazing to be back. Um, really enjoyed with friends and my girlfriend, and just just been like, this the sun's been shining like since we got here so and the snow is amazing uh it had it had a little bit of snow before we came so the conditions is really good um i feel like the snow is, is gonna be a bit more icy the slope is gonna be a bit more icy now because it's been sunny for so long now but um it's amazing here and um, 
I love it here. So uh, going back to Copenhagen later today and then uh, working on the new collection. Uh, can't wait to show you guys what's what's coming. Um, appreciate it. See you. Next stop, Montreux. So we changed like these to switch them around. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Just to see. Just to see, but not it's, permanent. It's I like, think. it's kind of vibe, you know? Yeah. What do you, what do you think about the iPod Max? I think it's really nice, you know, um, really good uh, for like, especially when I just had my trip to Switzerland. Mm. Uh, for the flight, it was very nice to just like zone out. Yeah. I also use them actually for a little bit of gaming. <laughs> Because it's well, what are you playing? Uh, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Secret geek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you got you, you have got to a guess, bit? you know. Yeah. What I'm gaming. Yeah. So guess. Yeah. So, so you can guess. Yeah. You know. So you, got, you know it. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. I'm not I also tell. know what you game, so they yeah. can guess what we. What, what we're playing. I game. But we're not playing together, actually. No. 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 Maybe, Different games. Maybe someday. Yeah. Maybe someday. Yeah. But, I think my game is a little bit complicated to you. Ah, little kid. I have, I have tried your game. Yeah, I should have played. It's a game. Actually, I can give a little like hint. So it's a game that um, has been re-released, mm. um, and it's like twenty-ish years old. This game. Yeah. So that's the hint. I'm not gonna say anymore. All right, all right. So people can guess. So you got a lot of tan on on your vacay. You think? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was like sunny. Like skiing? skiing Four too. days sunny. How was the trip? Very nice. Very nice, good. I uh, haven't been traveling for like half a year, so... It was much needed. Yeah, much needed. Yeah. And getting some sunlight, you know. Yeah. Here in, in Denmark, Copenhagen, it's, it's not that off sunny. No. So, very nice. So this is uh, Mass's new jacket. For his own project, Forgotten Garments. Go, uh, go show him some love. Uh, he's gonna release these. Was it February? Yeah, first, first, of, first of February. So uh, it's made of the same material that we used for the uh, five pocket O files uh, military jacket. So it's the the military uh, fabric from uh, 1960. Cool. It's pretty. It's a real sick jacket, and it's like Lambo zips, and it's like a leather. Um, color and you know like uh Perfect. pocket lining yeah and straps right yeah so all jackets are unique like the color difference this one is a little bit more brownish this is a bit more like greenish yeah. you can see right the ball raising we keep moving it up and no surprises here they knew it was us apologies if i was doing too much